it's Blue Ducky and I'm super excited because I just got in the mail the special edition doll for Dragon Games, the Teenage Evil Queen. So before I thought her name was going to be Mira Shards, but nothing on the box says Mira Shards. You never call her even on the back Mira Shards. They only refer to her as Teenage Evil Queen or Evil Queen. So I think that's really interesting. I'm wondering if her story is going to give her the name Mira Shards or if that's something that was just for the prototype or I don't know. We'll have to find out with the story and get on to the review here. And then at the end I'm going to be doing a doll collection, doll comparison of all the Dragon Games dolls that are out so far. So before I get into this review, I just want to give a real quick reminder to any new viewers out there, please make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Here's a look at the back with a little um, paragraph about how she's the new girl at school and she's actually the evil queen in teenage student form, which her artwork there is amazing looking. And you can read more about Teenage Evil Queen, Secret Heart's Desire, Magic Touch, What Magic Touch Makes You Special, Does Anything Make You Shout Oh Curses, What's Your Favorite Subject at School, What's Your Least Favorite Subject, and Who's Your Best Friend Till the End. And you can play Dragon Games at EverAfterHigh.com and the other girls in Dragon Games line, Raven, Darling, and Holly. Okay, so the Evil Queen, aka Mira Shards, uh, comes with a silver Ever After High stand and a silver key comb and her own story here, which the first part right here is like the current right now. She fooled everyone into thinking she was a new student named Mira Shards, but I guess that's not her um, real name. I guess her real name is Evil Queen, like... I thought like that was just her title, but it seems like that's really her name. Anyway, and here is a look at her diary, which is actually from when she was really a teenager, talking about Dragon Sport Team and everything, and that she was friends with uh, the Big Bad Wolf and Candy Witch and Dark Fairy. And then here's the other side. And the cover looks like a broken mirror, so she like broke out of her prison. She has this awesome headpiece that goes down over her forehead, and it's a silver color. Here's a look up close at her face, and you can check out her makeup, which is different shades of purple eyeshadow, and then a dark purple lipstick. And she's very pale, with a light blush on her cheeks absolutely love her hair. It's pulled back into high ponytail, but you can see it's hot pink and purple streaks through it. And I just really like her hair color next to her skin and her dark kind of gothic looking clothes. Here's a close look at her earrings. They are black and they're same on the each side. Long um, chandelier looking earrings. She has this awesome collar chest piece that goes over her arm, uh, shoulders, makes them look a little bit pointy, kind of armored, uh, chains, and really cool looking. And she has these two cool bracelets on. They look a little bit lacy, and it looks like they might have like pearls on the end. Really cute looking dark bracelets. Then her dress underneath all the uh, armor is a black dress with this awesome black and white skirt. You can check it out. There's different layers to it. There's this top layer, which looks like lace. It kind of looks like dragon fire going on there. And then this white part of her skirt, that satin. And then the bottom layer, it looks like broken mirror. She also has this belt that comes and hangs off the side and it looks like it has jewels on it and a really cool design. Overall her whole look is very gothic to me like kind of like almost kind of like a gothic lolita. 
And then here are her awesome shoes that have thorns wrapping up around the ankles. Um, and this really cool high heel in the back. You can see I like the spiky right here. They're really, really cool. Overall, I think her outfit is super cool. I love how the black and white goes with the silver armor and her bright pink and purple hair is just like super cool to me. I love this doll. So here are all the Dragon Games dolls all together. We got Darling, Holly, um, the Evil Queen, Raven Queen, and Apple White. And as you can see here, uh, the Evil Queen is a lot taller than the rest of them. She's also the most pale out of the bunch. She's even paler than Apple. With the exception of the Evil Queen and Apple White, each one came with a ring that is for you to wear and also doubles as a shield for them. There's Darling, Holly, and Ravens. Darling and Ravens are silver and Holly is gold. And with the exception of Apple, they all came with their dragon books that depicted their dragon portrait on the front. There's Darlings, Hollies, Miras doesn't have an actual dragon on the front. It has a broken mirror because she's the evil queen who has escaped. And Ravens. And even though Apple didn't come with the dragon book, she came with her dragon, Brayburn. Each one's face and makeup up close. We have Darling here with her blue and pink inspired makeup. It's Holly, she has pink with peach lipstick. Mira, or the Evil Queen, I'm not sure which one to call her, but for this video, I think I'm just going to call her Mira because it's easier to say. She has shades of purple and a dark purple lipstick. Here's Raven with purple eyeshadow and a dark red lipstick. And finally, Apple. She has a gold eyeshadow and a light pink lipstick. And my favorite makeup belongs to Darling Charming. Let's check out mom and daughter right next to each other. Do you, even though the Evil Queen's in disguise, do you think they look like they should be related? Do you see any resemblance to each other here? I think they both have a similar round face shape, kind of a similar nose. There's So it's like not exactly the same face mold, they're different, but I do think you could see a resemblance here. Next, let's check out their outfits. Here's Darling's armor and uh, top and the leggings and her awesome boots. Next we have Holly who has a uh, flowery gold tiara. This gold and silver look to her armor. And then she has a pink top and purple leggings with gold flat to it, through it. And the, her boots are kind of similar in design to Darling's, only they're in gold. Next we have Mira, who is very dark, black, white, a little bit of silver, but very dark colors to her outfit, and very ornate with the headpiece and the shoulder piece, which looks very similar to Raven's style. She always kind of has these extra shoulder pad armor, and um, then there's Raven, who's silver. She has a lot more color than her mom. There's purples and greens, a little bit of gold in her top there, but black and silver. She seems to add a lot more color into her outfit than her mother, the Evil Queen. And she has these ultra tall boots that look like they're armored, although you can see the little toe peeking out from the front of the boot. And we finally we have Apple who has a very large gold crown on her head. She has a shoulder armor piece there and a gold belt. And then her top is red and gold. And then she has the painted on armor leggings and these black strappy boots. She's probably the simplest out of all the dolls, but that's 
Um, usually the case for dolls that come in a playset or with such a large accessory, like she came with her dragon Brayburn. So she's probably the plainest of them all, um, which is kind of ironic since she's supposed to be the fairest of them all. And lastly, checking out their hair, we have Darling with her nice blonde and blue waves and a loose hairstyle. Nothing pulled back or up, but a couple curls in the front there, making her look super nice. Next we have Holly with her strawberry blonde hair pulled into a banded ponytail. It's kind of long and um, not super high on her head and her bangs are pushed to the side nicely. And there's Mira with her high ponytail and once again I love her hair color. This hot pink and purple is super cool. Raven who has purple and black hair and a little bit of a teal green underneath streak there. Her hair is pulled into a side ponytail with these chain accessories and apple has her straight blonde hair it's really really straight just uh you know straight so there you have it the complete collection of dragon games dolls so far i really hope they make more or at the very least end up making the full-size dragons for Darling, Holly, and Raven. I would love to have them like Brayburn. And so out of all these dolls, which one is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. I really, really like the design they did for Mira's shards, the Teenage Evil Queen. I think her outfit and everything looks super cool. And she's a great new doll character to have. Um, out of the existing characters, I think my favorite out of the three is Darling. I really like her. Um, this doll, the hair, the makeup, everything about her is just really, really cool. But if this is like an awesome doll line. One of my favorites for sure out of Ever After High. Thank you so much for watching this review of Amira Shards, the Teenage Evil Queen doll review. And a quick doll comparison of all the Dragon Games. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me comments down below telling me which are your favorites. And what do you think of the Evil Queen doll. And finally, if you are new viewer, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys later. Bye!